Welcome to another E3D lesson. We are going to talk about local coordinates and in canvas commands that are found in E3D. I'm Kiam Seng, and to show you how to use local coordinates, I've created an equipment without any primitives. Let's start by creating some primitives. Uh, before I do that, let's go to an ISO view. Let's select the cylinder and you can see that the cylinder that I'm going to create always orientate in the up direction. If I'm creating a vertical vessel, that is fine. But what happens if I want to create a horizontal vessel? How can I do that? Let me show you how I do that with the use of the local coordinate. So let's remove the cylinder that I've just created and now I'm going to set the local coordinates by using the power compass as I hover over the power compass the power compass show me the plane that I've selected a red is the east plane let me shift a little bit and you can see that the color of the plane will change to green which is the north plane Selecting the WCS will go back to the normal world coordinate system. Let's select the display. Now I'm going to show you another way of activating the cylinder just by typing CYLI. And we can create our body of our horizontal vessel using the cylinder that we've just selected. Next, I'm going to select a dish for the ends and I use my in canvas command by typing dish. I've switched off the snap option and I can call my snap option by using shift and the right click. And I select P points and now I use the P points to model my dish and we give it a height of let's say roughly about one third of the diameter. Next I'm going to copy rotate the dish and I set the coordinate system back to world coordinate because I want to rotate about the up direction. Selecting the dish, I can use the rotate command. Of course, I can use the in canvas command as well. First, let's choose the option to copy. And I do that by using the down arrow key and select copy. Now we choose the center. I use my P point selection command and select the center P point. And I give it 180 degrees so that another this should be created on the other end. Just to show you, you can use the in canvas command called rotate. It will bring you to the same command that I selected from the tab a while ago. This quick lesson shows you some of the new facilities in E3D. Hope you like it and thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to our lesson channel. Bye!